اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جلالك الذي خلقت له الدواء فلكل داء دواء الحمد لله الذي أرسل رسول بالهدى والدين الحق ليدر على دين كل وكفى بالله شهيدا وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده رسول ما بعد أحب في الله الله has created man and jinn and man when he neglects it the jinn will harm him when man does not follow the commands and he doesn't follow the advice it becomes a catalyst Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said follow me and follow the Quran and the Sunnah when you follow the Quran and the Sunnah you will not be lost today a lot of people are lost and they become catalyst of their own downfall now today i'm going to bring for you a story it's a very interesting story it begins by um khalid saying i got married when i got married allah has granted me two children and my husband bought a house and my husband was working for one big company and he always works in the night and life was alhamdulillah moving forward very nicely and smoothly everybody in the community in the neighbors knew me um khalid after some times my husband abdullah get a request a transfer request to be to another town and we pa he told me and then we agreed i agreed with my husband and we packed we moved to the other town where he was meant to go and work and he works in the night we went there thinking that we will come back to our town asp days gone weeks gone months gone years gone still waiting the first year done the second year done the third year done until we finish 10 years in that where we requested where we my husband was transferred and then my husband goes gets another letter saying that now it's time to go back to the town where he came from he goes i've told my wife and we packed again moved back when we moved back in the back of my mind and my husband thinking oh my lord everything in our house would be dust full of dust sand we don't know how we're going to go and meet the state of the house because for 10 years the house never been opened so the minute the minute she lands in the house and wanting to open and everything she opens and goes inside they see dust everywhere she cleaned and everything and then one of the neighbor comes comes to her and says umu khalid you are a very bad woman every time i come you don't open to me you don't open the door for me i say what are you talking about 10 years i've never come here she say no after 2 years you came back and i saw you even my children saw you sitting in the garden and i saw you going in and out and i saw you from the window in the kitchen and i hear your kids playing and i saw you coming out from the kitchen all the way to your room and i knock on the door and i hear the with your voice saying don't come back again to the door every day we hear your children praying and playing in the garden and playing and you cooking everything we hear and um khalid go shocked say he say my children few days back they saw you sitting there facing towards the garden my ch- meet few days back i saw your children playing in the garden um khalid um khalid was gobsmacked what is this is this woman normal my neighbor oh wow. and she said my sister i am telling you 10 years now 
We never talk to this house. Come check. Looking at the house is dust and everything. The neighbor left and she carried on her and husband cleaning, cleaning. They finished cleaning. They slept that night. The second night, husband goes to work. Back to normal routine from 9 to 6 in the morning. She carries on cleaning and cleaning and cleaning until in the evening the children go and sleep and she was sitting in the living room relaxing and tired and just put the TV on watching the TV. And suddenly she saw a figure coming from the door, the outside door, towards the, to towards the kitchen. And she was shocked and she ran in the back of her mind is, oh, is it what the, what the neighbor told me? Or what is it? Or is it a thief? Or what is it? So she runs towards the kitchen. When he goes to the kitchen, there's nothing there. And suddenly she hears a wind. And she looks back. Someone goes in the living room. She goes again and checks. And now she's on the edge. And start goosebumps and everything. See, what is happening? Now, whatever the neighbor has taught, taught her, told her is coming back slowly, slowly in her mind. And she starts thinking, what am I going to do? Read upon herself and goes and sleep. In the morning, she wakes up and makes, makes a nice breakfast and calls her two boys. And they sit down, they're eating. And one of the boys says, Mom, every night there's a baby boy. Or oh, a child gets, comes up from underneath our bed and he, he wakes us up. Three o'clock in the night. He wakes us up. He told us I to come and play. I just want to play a game with and you. She asked the other boy, what do you do when he calls you to play? The other boy says, Mom, some days we play with him and some days we don't play. But this boy every night comes up from underneath. This child every night comes out from underneath the bed. Now the mother started to worry and say, what is going on here? What am I going to do now? Now the fear started slowly creeping in. The husband comes back and he, she narrates to the husband. The husband said, don't worry, man. These are kids, man. Kids, they say anything they want. The husband negligence. And he goes to sleep and he eats dinner. He's eat, the husband eats his dinner and he goes to sleep. The second day, during the day, they were absolutely fine. In the evening, comes, husband leaves for work, the kids are asleep. Who left alone? Um Mukhari. Now she hears a breeze in her ear, a very strong breeze. And she thinks, Who's that? And looks, nothing is there. And she starts getting worried. And the phone rings. <laughs> the husband says, listen, today I'm going to be late. I'm going to come 9 o'clock in the morning. So don't worry about me. And she goes to bed. When she goes to bed, she's lying on the bed. And she sees somebody opening the door. And she said, who's that? She says, Abdullah, is me. I came back early from work. And a few minutes back, Abdullah called and said, it's going to be late. It's going to come very late. That it's going to be, the shift is going to be long, long today. And he opens Abdullah and he comes inside and he goes and sleeps in the bed. He takes his clothes off and sleeps in the bed facing the other way, not his, not the Mukhal, facing the other way. And suddenly, the electricity cut off in the house. And she's thinking, what's going on? So she grabs her phone and starts using the light of her phone. And she puts it on and she starts looking. And suddenly, the position she flashed it to, she sees the same figure, mass, long, tall, ugly figure, 
black man standing there looking at her the same one the one she saw going to the kitchen she screamed she started to look for abdullah abdullah is not there in the bed screaming and running from the room going to the kids room and sitting with the kids and shaking in the room with the kids holding her kids tight she said oh allah help me so she closed the room of her and the kids and she hears outside people walking around the room and laughing and talking the voice of abdullah her husband and at the same time talking on her voice and he hear her own children talking playing outside while her own children is with her but the husband is not there now she remembers everything the neighbor was telling has come to fruitful has come to the truth now she's worried and she's making dua she says what has served us is the ayatul kursi that we read daily and qul adhbir falaq an adhbir bin nas my kids read alhamdulillah that has saved us so that night was a terror night people laughing outside and people joking outside on children and the voice of the husband and the voice her own voice she hears it outside she wakes until in the morning and the husband comes back she says i'm not staying in this house we need to do something about this house last night we never slept and the husband take a day off and he goes look for a sheikh to come and sort the matter out they go to the sheikh and they narrate everything to the sheikh the sheikh says these are jinn travelers who so the house is empty and they settle down there so he asked what's the way forward the sheikh's volunteer to go and read they read 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 for several days and they hear every time they go and read they hear voices from the inside the house telling them we are muslims we can never leave this house we are muslim we can never leave this house this house belongs to us now the shiukhs after a few days of reading in the house they go back and they read to the husband and they told him it's better for you to leave this the house that house has been occupied until today the house is known as a haunted house the jinn house Abdullah goes and buys another house this is a story to reflect do not leave your house empty for so long or you will invite a problem where you will ne- you will invite a problem where you cannot solve it you won't be able to solve it so do not become a catalyst of your own downfall stay tuned for more ابو يحيى فروم ذا روكتو واخر دعوانا وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين حتى يتبين لهم انه الحق